So if you're able to at this point, can I suggest that you stand as we say the words on the screen together. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of his Father before all worlds, God of God, light of light, very God of very God, begotten, not made, being of one substance with the Father by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate by the Holy Ghost of the Virgin Mary and was made man and was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate. He suffered and was buried and the third day he rose again according to the scriptures and ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of the Father. And he shall come again with glory to judge both the quick and the dead whose kingdom shall have no end. And I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceedeth from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son together is worshiped and glorified who spake by the prophets. And I believe one holy, catholic, and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins. And I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. So if you have been standing, you might like to sit for our time of intercession. In the power of the Spirit and in union with Christ, let us pray to the Father. And our prayers begin with the collect for today, Bible Sunday. Blessed Lord, who caused all Holy Scriptures to be written for our learning, help us so to hear them, to read, mark, learn, and inwardly digest them, that through patience and the comfort of your holy word, we may embrace and forever hold fast the hope of everlasting life, which you have given us in our Savior, Jesus Christ, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, you promised through your Son, Jesus Christ, to hear us when we pray in faith. Strengthen Martin, Ruth, and Will, our bishops, and all your church in the service of Christ, that those who confess your name may be united in your truth, live together in your love, and reveal your glory in the world. Bless and guide Elizabeth, our queen. Give wisdom to all in authority, and direct this and every nation in the ways of justice and of peace, that we may honor one another and seek the common good. Give grace to us, our families and friends, and to all our neighbors, that we may serve Christ in one another and love as he loves us. Comfort and heal all those who suffer in body, mind, or spirit. Give them courage and hope in their troubles and bring them the joy of your salvation. Hear us as we remember those who have died in the faith of Christ according to your promises. Grant us with them a share in your eternal kingdom. Rejoicing in the fellowship of all your saints, we commend ourselves and the whole creation to your unfailing love. And our prayers conclude with the prayer that Jesus himself taught us. So we say together, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. So now we sing again, and for the contemporary followers, it's from the breaking of the dawn, and for the traditional followers, it's Lord, thy word abideth. <laughs>